hello guys so today i'm going to show you guys how you can create a setup means publish a windows form application with a database and how you can install it and run it in the client pc as you all know it won't run like normally in the client pc machine because of the connection string as the client pc machine won't have the connection string as you have in yours so what you can do is you can bind the database with the application so here I'm going to show you my sample application here I'm going to run it it is connected to the database name person here right now I'm going to run it when I click the display button it will display the information now I'm going to add some data um, six and dummy here. Data inserted successfully as you can see the data is inserting. Yeah. So first we will publish this in the normal way. I'm going to build this up first. this next 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 finish right I'm going to install this application yes it is working as expected So it is working in the normal way because this is our PC and we are having the same connection string here but when you install this on the client PC machine it won't work because the client PC machine won't have the same connection string here here I'll show you the connection string my connection string is as you can see the path C users which are documents database so the client may not have these folders means they don't have this this directory so what you can do is you can bind the database first of all i'll show you as a proof it won't work yeah, now i'm going to delete the database it is here first of all i'm disconnect Move the files to another folder here. Right now, let's see whether the application works or not. Right, as you can see, it is giving the error check database connection. It is coming from this catch block SQL exception. Yes, so now I'll show you as a proof that it won't work. So now for as a solution what you can do is you can move the database files the MDF file to your application folder now I'm going to move these files to my application folder my application folder is Visual Studio 2015 projects Windows application 35 in this application 35 now I'm going to paste this files here right now I'm going to read my previous database because we don't have it anymore now I'm going to reconnect my new database in the new path here it is on Visual Studio 2015 projects application 35 person MDF now it is successfully now what I'm going to do is again I'm going to the project and select add new data source right now I'm going to add it add the data set now what we can do is 
should select the database name here person now this is my new connection string you should copy it right okay here next yes i'm going to modify the connection all the things yeah so let's finish now we are pasting our new connection string here instead of the old one okay this is my new connection string as you can see we don't have that C share of my documents directory so, so I'm going to kill this application again. Okay, we will delete that previous published application folder first. Delete. Now I'm going to republish this application again. It's desktop application. And click and finish. Yes, succeeded. You can see. Okay, now I'm going to install this. Okay, it is working as expected. This application it is working as expected. So now I'm going to remove that database file. It is here. This one. I'm going to cut it and paste it in another directory. didn't paste it successfully so I'm going to paste this by picking it let's cut this database paste it in another directory okay. so here as you can see there's no database so I'm going to run this application again because now I'm going to show that how it is working here as you can see this here you can see the own MDF deployment file here this is where the application works because of this here now we don't have the database file in this one here Visual Studio project 35 Yes, as a proof you can see the database it is in another directory here but the application works as expected in the client's PC machine also but I'm going to add some data here is it a successfully yeah it is working fine that's all for today I hope you get the expected thing right goodbye friends have a nice day